Introducing to you first fighting out of the red corner from United Fight Team Nantes. Let's hear Going to be in front of Scott Butters tonight. I mean, the people that he fought were exceptionally good. So don't go by his record. He's very dangerous, impressive stand up, tough and durable, super fast leg kicks. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from BNB and Team Fuzeta. Raise the roof for Scott Butters! I should just give up. Shout out! Cuts out, bust rap, smash the dumb track. No one on my come out, I like that. Stab in the back, won't scratch my top flank. I'm the type of better than I'm gonna be my fact. Never can answer, I'm stacked to every attack. Cats can dash from my slant. I'm hot in my green, I'm sick, it's over. Every time I feel I'm a turning colder. I'm a soldier, I'm gonna roll that over. Mask on the heart, it's shoulders. Keep those soldiers, I'm trained with boulders. Pass me the globe, I can't hold so loud. Even when I shoulder, sound up so loud. There he is, then. He's the man a lot of people have come to see tonight. He's the hometown boy. Main event again at Contenders, Scott Butters, one of the best young prospects on the local MMA scene. Here looking to go 2-0 and as a lightweight Dean. And what can you tell the people watching live around the world on Fight TV pay-per-view about this man, Scott Butters? Submission specialist, very dangerous rear naked choke. He keeps his hands nice and high in the striking world, works the strikes to set up the clinch, and he's not afraid to take the fight to the ground when he needs it and look for the finish there. Absolutely, it's important to say his background is kind of grappling and submissions, but he's been working a lot on his striking, and it looked great on his debut against Johan Salvador. He landed a lovely inside leg kick to set up an uppercut, which precipitated the end of the fight, and he's told me he's even better now in the stand up, he's been working that a lot. And he knows he's always got that as a fallback, the rest of the submissions, if he's not having the way it wants to go on the feet. But a very, very popular individual, you can probably hear the crowd are going crazy for Scott Butters, and he's a really, really likeable guy, Dean. Yeah, he's very relentless with his takedowns, good chin, and super tough to finish. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening, sponsored by Cannons UK. This lightweight professional mixed martial arts contest will be fought over three five-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner from United Fight Team Nantes. Put your hands together for Jonathan Templier. And the opponent fighting out of the blue corner from BNB and Team Fuzeta. Give it up for Scott. Butters! Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Dan Boverheady. Wow, listen to that ovation for Scott Butters, a very popular young man. He looks to go here, extend his pro record to 2-0. He's facing Jonathan Templier over in the red corner from United Fight Team Nantes. Scott Butters in the blue corner from BNB Team Fazetta. He's a heavy tattooed bearded guy with the red gloves, you can't miss him. And here we go, main event time, Contenders 23, Mark Heath, Dean Midhat here with you, and we're underway, Dean. Can't wait for this, Scott is just so highly touted, very highly skilled. He's really the epiphany of a fighter, if you think somebody who trains hard in the gym, 
he really focuses and kind of changes his life to allow him to train so much and put on a great show for these fans. A couple of heavy leg kicks landed early there from Templar. He's going to give Butters something to think about. Butters got a great little backstory as well, Dean. He thought he could never fight again. In fact, he was told he could never fight again. Suffered complications from a broken nose in sparring. Thought his fight career was over, was out, was depressed, was gutted, obviously. And then got a second opinion, and here we are. Finished his amateur career, turned pro, won at contenders, and now he's here looking to go 2-0. and oh. But in the early going here, Templar is landing some big leg kicks. Scott's aware of these leg kicks. We were speaking earlier about these leg kicks. He, when he eats too many of those, he's going to try and time that and work the takedown. So he's going to try and catch that kick. He might come over the top with an overhand right or, or engage in the takedown there. But you can see that there's, a, there's kind of like a lean back there from Jonathan. And it makes it a lot more difficult to spring out the way if someone tries to hit you or implement a takedown. Yeah, Scott's told me that he, um, he expects Template to kind of want to keep it standing, although he's not too fussed. Nice right hand landed from Scott Butters there. As I was saying, Template is not too fussed about being taken down. He's aggressive off his back. And, of course, he's not perhaps grappled with someone as strong on top as Scott Butters. Looking for those big left hooks there from Butters. He told me no one's going to have hit Template like I'm going to hit him tonight. And so far, he certainly landed a big right hand early doors. But again, Template back to those leg kicks. And he's having success with those, Dean. He did a great job of moving off every time he kicks, keeping that distance, not allowing Scott to kind of implement anything in a forward kind of motion. This is where you see the left hook there. Trying from Scott Butters, but, and again, Jonathan now implementing the takedown. He's initiated this position here. So he's got to make sure he controls the underhooks. Scott's got some great takedowns up against the cage. He's got using the wizard there, the overhook on the right arm of Jonathan to hike him up, he's going to try and funnel the other arm in. Jonathan looks for a takedown, but Scott is so strong in that position, looking for the tie palm clinch, looking to fire the knees. And here the elbows come through from Scott. Yeah, Scott Butters loves throwing those elbows. He, that's the big, of course, difference between the amateur and pro game, and he throws those with impunity, and they hurt and they cut. And I think he's got Templier's attention here as Templier goes for a takedown. He's on the gear team, though, Scott Butters. Scott Butters, super tight guillotine, and you notice he didn't even have to pull guard in that position. He had the knee across the belly and the other leg around the back. And what he did there was use a circular motion, almost like a hand on a clock, to squeeze the arteries and force the tap from Jonathan. That was so quick. It was an interesting start to the round. Obviously, Tempe was having success with the leg kicks, but then he took Butters down right into Butters' wheelhouse. Scott locked on that guillotine, and that's not a place you want to be with Scott Butters on the floor. Put his hand around your neck. Very quick counter to the takedown. And Scott really committed to wrapping that neck round, and making it nice and tight, keeping his shoulder across the neck, and making sure that he ticks all the boxes. Butters to the center of the cage, there. please. Super quick reactions from Scott Butters. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for both these guys in the cage, please. But ladies and gentlemen, your winner via guillotine in round number one. Let's hear it for Scott Butters! <laughs> ladies and gents, give it up for Jonathan Templier. <laughs> and we have a representative from Canon UK for a picture, please.